my first prediction for 2020 is that we're going to see a series of scandals around data poisoning. We know that a huge amount of money is being made out of data and the profiling and analytics of that data, but actually businesses in particular are not looking at the sources of that information. They're making decisions, analysing data that may actually be corrupt, may be poisoned. Now, in 2020, we're going to see a lot of alt data projects launched uh, using personal data, but also business data. And our concern really is that businesses aren't considering the sources of that information. That's leaving them vulnerable and it will result in a lack of control. We saw this to an extent with Cambridge Analytica. Um, I, we think stories like that are going to be far more common in 2020, but not just in the political world, uh, also in business. And of course, with the elections in 2020 uh, in the US, the use of political data, of mind hacking, uh, the poisoning of data possibly is going to be a big theme in politics. And as we know at the moment, this is highly unregulated. Uh, there's a lack of transparency around how data is used. So this idea of corruption of data, not just in the business world, but also state-sponsored actors, that will be a big theme in 2020. My second prediction for 2020 is that we're going to see an absolute avalanche of AI laws. Now, we did some research with The Economist in 2019, which showed that 88% of respondents at board level are absolutely confident that they can manage this. We think that that confidence is actually misplaced. At the moment, globally, there are over 300 different principles and rule sets for how AI might be controlled and managed. Having to consolidate those down and actually navigate this extremely complex world, not just in Europe, but globally. And the real problem here is actually that most businesses don't know where that, this AI is or where it exists and actually what it's doing. So being able to audit this, being able to check it, and then being able to put into place the governance structures that lawmakers require is going to be an absolutely monumental task for businesses. And so we believe that this is going to be one of the biggest challenges of 2020 and one which will prompt regulatory investigations, not just uh, in one country, not just in one office, but for businesses globally. So my third prediction is that diversity in tech will continue to be a huge headache and many of the problems that we saw in 2019 will be magnified. So the scandal around Apple Card, women who are often much more prosperous and successful, having credit limits 10 times less than equivalent men. And then with Facebook, uh, a job algorithm which was advertising jobs to certain groups of people but excluding other minority groups. We think that this will continue apace in 2020 and, and become one of the biggest scandals that we've seen actually for, for the decade as the public start to realise how their information is being used and how they may be excluded based on race, gender, sexuality and actually how do we solve for this. And in 2020, Clifford Chance is going to do something big around this. So we'll be funding a project with Hartford College in Oxford to get more minority and ethnic women to study computer science and ethics, which clearly links into AI, of course. And secondly, we'll be funding a fellowship, again in Oxford, uh, to look at the philosophy of computer science and to get ethics and diversity into the heart of academic debate and education so that we can get this generational shift. And it's not going to happen overnight. It's going to take many years and we need to change people's mindsets with time and 2020 is a great time to start.